If you've ever driven to Lake Powell and wondered about the mountain range that seems to rise up out of the desert on the west, then this is the show for you. Hi, I'm Darren Kinder, and today on At Your Leisure, we're exploring the Henry Mountains. This is something I've always wanted to do, and I think I'm in for a few surprises in this diverse landscape. From there, Stephen Human follows one father and son duo as they try to make time stand still among the eternal rocks of the San Rafael Swell. Can they do it? Find out now, because At Your Leisure is next. Welcome to At Your Leisure, I'm Darren Kinder. And I'm Jill Kinder, and we are here in the Henry Mountains. Yep, and this is just south of Hanksville, Utah. And if you've ever been to Lake Powell or been driving down here and seen those mountains, just off in the distance, a little just jumping out of the desert floor, that's where the Henrys are. <laughs> it's just amazing. You're going through the desert, and all of a sudden there's these beautiful mountains, you come up the trail, pine trees, amazing meadows, just gorgeous. Yep, and we have a few people with us. We have Kim Wilson, the mayor of Hanksville, and some of the locals to show us this area and how cool it really is. You know, it's something I've always wanted to come down here and see these because, you know, like I've been driving to Lake Powell or other places and I go, man, look at those mountains coming straight out of the desert. <laughs> it's just impressive. And if we're really lucky, we'll find some bison today. And these bison up here are the only genetically pure bison left in the entire country or right here in Hanksville, Utah. We've just found out that these are the youngest mountains in the nation. And what we're gonna do now is find out more about the area, the trails, and the recreational options. There's not a greater mountain around. It's so rugged and beautiful, so much life. These mountains mean everything to me. This is where uh, my heritage comes from. Um, Ebenezer Hanks, who founded Hanksville, is my great-great-great-grandfather. And there's so much wildlife and rugged beauty up here that you just can't get anywhere else. I think it's amazing that you can be in Hanksville and then 20, 30 minutes later you're in the middle of a, a beautiful mountain with pine trees, cool streams. It's, I don't know how many degrees cooler, but it's significantly cooler than Hanksville. And so I would say it's just a whole different world. I love that you just get away from civilization. It's a very rugged mountain. It's not very civilized yet. They don't have a lot of improved areas here. Brings me back several generations to when I was really young. We'd come up here for activities and stuff and it's still the same. It's the same type of a place, same type of a feeling. If you want to come to Hanksville, from Hanksville you can see everything you want to see. We're, we're right in the middle of all the national parks. The Henry Mountains is the most beautiful, rugged, country that there is. Bring a spare tire just in case. From the top of the Henry Mountains you can see everything around you. You can see Canyonlands, you can see um, Capitol Reef, Factory Butte, the San Rafael Swell, everything. I am always amazed by all the things there are to do in an area and all the history that's involved. And you just think of it as a mountain but obviously there's so much more. Yeah it's interesting because on the way down here we're saying we're going down to the middle of the desert in July without a boat. What are we doing? <laughs> well, we've obviously found something to do and it's been a lot of fun. So we're up here on Wikiup Pass, which is about 9,200 feet, which is about 5,000 feet above the valley floor of Hanksville. So down there, it's probably over 100 and up here, it's just a gorgeous like 70 degrees. It's, Couldn't be nicer. Oh, so beautiful. A little breeze blowing and it's just a perfect temperature. But right now, we're going to go back down to the 100 degrees with Stephen Human. He's on a travel adventure in the San Rafael Swell. I hope they have AC. <laughs> Time never slows down never stops, never allows us a moment to catch our breaths as months turn to years and children grow into adults. For George Rivera, that forward march has become increasingly apparent as he's watched his three sons go from toddler to teenager in what feels like the blink of an eye. Today, he's decided to do his best to make time stand still as he's head out from the east end of the San Rafael Swell with his youngest son, Joey. Their adventure is a simple one. 
drive the dirt roads and winding paths of this craggy landscape in an attempt to see what's never been seen and bond as only a father and son can. Today we just went exploring. Me and my son Joseph had a, had a free weekend where everybody else had busy stuff, so we just decided to get out and open and explore. The San Rafael Swell is an uplifting of earth and rock that has formed over the past million years as forces beneath the planet's crust have pushed an entire landscape up toward the sky. Formations like Temple Mountain stand like sentinels in the distance as each turn in the rocks affords visitors views unlike anything else they've ever seen. Trails are diverse, affording riders of all types the chance to explore for hundreds of miles appreciating the uniqueness of the swell and the adventure it affords. George and Joey begin their trip on Temple Mountain Road, just north of Goblin Valley, about a half hour from Hanksville. Quickly, they turn off onto Behind the Reef Trail and make their way up and down the rippling inclines of this colorful world. It doesn't take long for their black Jeep to be transformed into what can only be described as San Rafael Red as they traverse from one end of the swell to the other. Where's a puddle? It was, well, I thought it wasn't that big and, until we got closer to it. So we went in it, and I didn't think it would be nearly as a way big splash as it was. It was a huge splash. It went all over, it like got, even some got in the car. We scared ourselves just enough to make it memorable, but not enough to do any damage. So uh, it's been great. Just had some quality time with Joseph and uh, having a wonderful time, just enjoying the beauty of the world. That beauty is apparent with every twist of the trail. Reds and yellows, even greens, greet the eye and invite explorers to move farther into this wild world. The Riveras relish every second of it. While George was born in Utah, his family has spent the last four years living in Texas, where his love of off-roading was put on hold for the most part. Well, in Texas, we only got, got to go once. We got to go to Polidoro Canyon, which is kind of a mini Utah, and it was really beautiful. Um, but it was not, we had to go through private land. It's not something we could do every day. And other than that, in off-road parks, it just wasn't available. When things in our lives changed, it was time to come home. We couldn't have been more excited. We changed everything up and, and we uh, upgraded our Jeep a little bit and we just get out. This is the third time we've been out. First time on trails this hard in our new Jeep, but um, third time out, we're just as happy as can be. I wish I had brought my old Jeep and no payments on it. As the day progresses, the shadows grow deeper. And while time hasn't stopped for George and Joseph, each moment has brought with it another memory that will be frozen in time. Hiking over the bluffs, standing as the entire world bows down before you, these seconds aren't quite as fleeting as others in their lives. We had a little bit of a scare, nothing serious, but just something we hadn't done before. And I said, Joey, it's those experiences that make it memorable. And, you know, I go back to my dad when, in, I think it was in 1978, he took us to Elephant Hill in his, in his Land Cruiser. And, I remember every minute of that trip with my dad and my brother, and they're both gone now. And, um, and I hope that it's, those memories are the same for my son. Time will never stop its march toward the future. But in a place like the San Rafael Swell, where everything is timeless and eternal, it's easier to keep tomorrow at bay, even if just for a moment. The sun will eventually set. Boys will grow into men, but these moments will stay forever perfect. And each time we return to these rocky outcroppings, they will come rushing back as perfect as the moment they were made. One day, this 11-year-old boy will look back and find vivid glimpses of his father and the splendor of a day on the trails of the West. Well, it's just a fun time, just um, seeing all this cool, seeing all these cool creations with my dad and um, just fun. Well, I have this dream, I don't know if it'll come to fruition, but the hope is that um, when my boys have young families and they're out working and I'm this old fart kicking around, that, that we can come bring our Jeeps and bring our families down and enjoy the same kind of beauty. I hope it's still here. I hope we take care of it, but I just hope that we can experience this. I hope I can experience it with my grandkids because it's timeless. It's, it's kind of transcendent anything else that you do. From the overlooks of the San Rafael, I'm Stephen Human for At Your Leisure. There's a little place on a Utah map where I was raised, where my heart's at, where the sagebrush grows wild and high, and the stars come out at night.
That Duchesne County line. The Utah Farm Bureau has always been there to fight for the needs of its members. With discount programs on items ranging from vehicles and ATVs to health and wellness. The membership fees aren't big, but the results are. We've been around since 1916, and we're not leaving anytime soon. Utah Farm Bureau. We work for those who work to feed the world. Welcome to Castle Country. A land as diverse as its people and a rural area that relies on responsible use of the land. Here, you will find adventure at every turn. From mountain peaks to sun-swept deserts, Castle Country has it all. It is summertime. We are making something special today in the backyard. I'm with Ryan, and he's from Camp Chef, and he's showing us how to make the best French toast that I, I haven't, you haven't made it yet, but just the bread that we're starting with. It looks good, I, doesn't I'm it? I'm really excited. It does, yeah. Because and this, it's not just your normal bread. No, this is an apple cinnamon bread, and I went to the store. I've never done the apple before, but uh, I just pick up a cinnamon bread from the bakery and do French toast with it. It's, it's gonna be good. Look at this. Cinnamon on the outside, apples, cinnamon on the inside, and frosting on the top. I mean, you really can just eat the bread, but I the, think French I've toast. Already, I've already been munching on the bread and I it's know, been good. I know, we had a bite before so we started. Oh. I'm looking forward to this French toast. Me too. Let's get started. Okay, let's do it. All right, it. we're gonna crack a few eggs in here. Okay. We'll beat them up and then add some milk. I'll help you. We'll do about four or five eggs, you know, more or less depending on how many people you're cooking for and how many you wanna make. And then I'm just gonna beat these eggs and add, add a little milk. Okay, you say when. All right. And then, you know, a lot of times people add sugar or cinnamon or something, but we don't need to do that. It's already in the bread. The bread has it. All right, so we're gonna do a little dredging. Yep, dredge, right. dredge the bread on both sides and throw it on the griddle. This looks so good. This bread, I really am freaking out about this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. This is gonna be good. So this is something, a recipe that's really easy, it's great at home, but it's also really good in camp. You know, the camp stove is so versatile to use and so easy to haul with you in camp or on the patio. I love it when it's easy and delicious. And it's a little bit different than the pancakes that we're so used to. Ah! Ryan's brilliant. Let's top it with the good stuff. Okay. Now that is a breakfast right there. Right? <laughs> now, little top of Little more there. strawberries. Look, I had to get the cinnamon. I had to get the frosting, all of it. Ready? Oh my gosh! Is it good? That is so good. Wait, I just have to have one more bite. Okay. Do you have to have a bite now, too? That's a good breakfast. <laughs> Do I to share? I'll, I'll have a bite. That's so good, Ryan. Anybody would be happy to eat that for breakfast. Where can you get all this cool Camp Chef stuff? You can get Camp Chef at most of your local sporting goods stores. Um, Cabela's, Sportsman's Warehouse, also your farm and ranch stores like uh, Cow Ranch, IFA. Just check out your local sporting goods store and they'll have the Camp Chef Explore stove. Ryan, thank you so much. Good thank job you. with the French toast. We'll be right back. Looking forward to it. Dominate every trail. Conquer any task. You need a machine that does it all. Introducing Polaris General. The General is the most powerful rec utility side-by-side -side ever made. The industry's deepest cargo box lets you haul and dump up to 600 pounds, and the revolutionary cockpit totally refines comfort and protection. Polaris General, ultimate versatility to win every battle.
rediscover your sense of adventure. Welcome to San Juan County. Discover the past. A change of place. Utah San Juan County, where life is elevated. It's out there. Something is definitely out there. Whatever it is, it's big. I won't play. I swear, we got so close I could smell it. But then, poof, it was gone. Right. It exists. The new Honda Pioneer 1000 with the best-in-class engine and six-speed fully automatic dual-clutch transmission. Pioneer 1000 from Honda. Bull Creek Pass at 10,500. And uh, you know, for the middle of summer, it's a little chilly. And a little blustery, <laughs> it is. <laughs> but the views are absolutely spectacular. We've got Capital, Capital Reef off to our right, and we have Canyon Lands off to our left, and it is absolutely beautiful up here. And Mount Ellen is right behind us. It's the highest peak around here, 11,582 feet. And you know, we've learned so much about this area. I'd really like to find out more history about Hanksville. And what there is to do there. So let's go check it out. Oh, Hanksville is very diverse uh, year round. We have Goblin Valley to the north, Goblin Valley State Park. We have the Burpee Dinosaur Quarry, which is turning into one of the major attractions right out of Hanksville, only a few miles. Very large dinosaur quarry with wonderful discoveries there. We have the Factory Butte, ATV and motorcycle area there, only 10 miles west of Hanksville, very popular. We have hundreds of miles of trail systems and road systems around the Henry Mountains, which form great loop roads for all kinds of travel and camping. Capitol Reef National Park just to the west of us and Canyon Lands just to the east. The Colorado River rafting companies all use Hanksville as their way station, transfer points for their people. So it's a huge area right here that's somewhat uh, little known and now being discovered. Well, it really is amazing how many recreational things there are to do in the Hanksville area, and in the Henrys are, are just the tip of the iceberg. Oh, Literally. <laughs> the tip. <laughs> <laughs> well, has this been everything that you've thought it would be? You know, it's, it's actually a lot different than I thought it would be. It's very open and lots of pines, and it's cool, obviously, and the uh, you know, there's trees and there's just trails everywhere, and it's a lot more than I thought it would be. I thought it'd just be, you know, we'd be up here in an hour and be gone, but you could explore up here for weeks. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that big of a mountain range, but really there's 600 to 800 buffalo hiding somewhere yeah, here. Yeah, they're sneaky little buggers. <laughs> well, while we still look for the buffalo, why don't you go to a trailhead adventure brought to you by... Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com, the greatest place to go get all your ATV and four-wheel parts. The serene mountain vistas of Pine View Reservoir are the perfect backdrop for a relaxing family weekend. However, today, there's a competition on the lake that's bound to wake you up. Today, you're at the 7th Annual Tygo Wake Up Wakeboard Competition and Lifestyle Festival at uh, Middle Inlet Pine View Reservoir. What it is is one of the Mountain West's largest wakeboard competitions uh, and wake surfing demo events here at Middle Inlet at Pine View. Uh, it's a fantastic venue, so it's a lot of fun. 
People come from all surrounding states to compete in this competition and they usually uh, fill up the reservations at least a week or so before the event. So people look forward to this event every year. And why shouldn't they? Not only are folks treated to spectacular riders on the water, but there's a lot of other activities for those in attendance. The Tide Wake Up competition is an event for the entire family. I mean, we grow the footprint every year so that there's like more and more like land-borne activities, so it takes on more and more of a festival feel. Um, so we have mountain ridge helicopters with a helicopter simulator here today. We have Flowrider, which is the indoor wave environment, yeah. and they have like some land board board trainers. So we try to provide like some other things to do besides yeah. watching the competition or participating right. in the competition, etc. As much fun as these activities are on the shore, they'll always come in second place to the action over the water. Yes, over, to be specific. It's about 30 feet over the water. Blob is a giant inflatable. Basically get someone on the end of it, they jump and they go flying. They, there's just a younger demographic. They're, I don't know what it is. They just want to do more adventurous things instead of just sit there on the boat and like eat and drink all day. You know, Utahns just are go, 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 it seems like. And they, they've definitely proven to have the most interest in the catapult for sure. The competition began this morning with the Groms. To those who don't know that term, it is the kids. And the age and skill only increase from there. They're judged everything from touching the water, waving at the judges, cutting in and out of the lake, all the way up to the outlaws where anything goes. You guys got throwing your know, mode based tricks, which is a, an invert and a spin mixed together, and then everything in between. So all day long we'll be going from drama to beginner, intermediate. We have a women's class, um, advanced, and then outlaws are the big guys um, coming out throwing down. So where does the love of wakeboarding begin? Why do these riders decide to keep jumping up on a board even if they wipe out? What makes this sport so special? I grew up on a small lake in northern Minnesota and really that was the most extreme fun thing that we could do. Started water skiing and then got into wakeboarding shortly thereafter and just kind of got passionate about it and kept chasing the dream. Getting out on the water is like my paradise. Um, if I'm in pain it will like it'll melt away like it's my medicine to any problems I have. Each of these competitors started off as a person who simply had a love for the sport. Now it's about so much more. They come from all different walks of life, but wakeboarding doesn't discriminate. You can be a beginner or a seasoned veteran. The Tide Wake Up competition is open to all. I started out, I couldn't even get up. I mean, couldn't jump the wake, couldn't do anything, and with a lot of passion and persistence, a lot of licks, a lot of getting wiped out hard. If you keep going for it, you can do it. So good luck to all of your future wakeboarders. We'll see you next year at the Tide Wake Up competition. I'm Terry Wood for At Your Leisure. In 1946, Ray City started a business built on exploration and family. He made his customers a promise that they would always find a friend when they walked into a dealership with the name Ray City. Now, 70 years later, that promise is fulfilled every day. We're still all about exploration and family. 70 years is a long time, but we are just getting started. Come in and celebrate our huge anniversary sale. Ray City RV off Riverdale Road in Roy, serving your family since 1946. When the road takes you farther than you knew possible, when the world is more beautiful than you've ever seen, when home is more comfortable than it should be, this is when you know you're in Kane County. The perfect mix of rural and urban, culture and adventure. Glendale, Orderville, Kanab, Big Water, small towns with more to offer than just peace and quiet. Kane County, Utah. Find the new you. I'm Chris Haller, Utah Division of Parks and Recreation Off-Highway Vehicle Program Coordinator. And today we're here to talk about how you can protect your brain. A couple key things when selecting a helmet is to make sure that it's DOT approved and that you check the expiration date. Yes, helmets do expire. Typical expiration date is between five and seven years. Visit our website at ohv.utah.gov for more helmet information. Utah State Parks, adventures for everyone. Razor, Ranger, Sportsman, Ace. There's a Polaris to match your passion. Whether you ride mud, rocks, dunes, or trails, Razor leads the way. With unequaled power, unrivaled suspension, 
unmatched agility, and unbeatable comfort. Perfectly combined to chase what matters. Lifelong memories with friends and family. This has just been a fabulous day at the Henry Mountains. We're leaving them behind, I'm afraid. Yeah, and we're back down the valley. It's, it's a, it's a it's bit hot. stifling down here, and it was so nice up there, and we've just had a great time. It was a great time. We didn't get to see our buffalo, but maybe next time. I'd, I'd really like to come back. Yeah. Now, if you want to come out here, it's really easy to get to. Um, Hanksville is 44 miles south on I-70, brings you into Hanksville, and then you go west just a little bit, about a block, and you'll come to the Henry Mountains Access Road, which is right next to the post office. But there are some nice hotels, gas stations, everything you need, food, whatever is here. You know, now we've eaten a lot of dirt today. Yes. And uh, so we thought we'd go get some food, but while we go do that, why don't you check out this week's sticker winner? Thanks, Darren. Well, this week our winner is Heather Leach. She's sending these two photos, one there on her truck, the other with an AYL sticker on her license plate. Heather, you are the winner of a weekend at Lizzie and Charlie's in Marysville. You get a cabin and a day's rental of a side-by-side. -side. So you can go out and explore the Paiute Trail. Call us at 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. Everybody else, get your stickers in. Now, we have a couple of events coming up we want to talk to you about real quick. First off is the Heber Valley Fly Fishing Festival in Midway. This is a great opportunity for your kids to come out and learn how to fly fish. That is August 12th and 13th, and you can find out more at HeberValleyFlyFishingFestival.com. We also have Speed Week out on the Salt Flats, the 13th through the 19th. This is a speed event for anyone who wants to come out and race their cars. You can go out there and set a record. And lastly, we have the Helper Music and Arts Festival in Helper, Utah, August 18th through the 21st. Now let's head back to the Henry Mountains. Well, thanks for that, and congratulations to this week's sticker winner. Now let's take a look at next week's show. At Your Leisure is on the water in one week as we head to Jordanelle Reservoir where they have a new attraction that is going to make adults and kids alike bounce on the water like never before. We'll give you an up-close look. Then come with me, Stephen Human, as I take the second left-hand turn and find an ATV trail outside of Cedar City that you're going to want to explore. We're here at Duke's in... I guess the full name is Duke Slick Rock Grill here in Hanksville. We've had a fabulous day and now we are enjoying some, some fabulous food. food. It looks <laughs> absolutely amazing. We're so excited to have some food. <laughs> and this looks fantastic. The nice thing about Hanksville is it has so many amenities. You don't even think that it's all here and it's beautiful. They have camp, tent camping, trailers, cabins, hotels. Uh, great hamburger joint. This place for full meal. Yeah, for fancier dining. Fancier dining. Uh, the trails are all close by. And you can ride right from your hotel room right up to the Henry's. It's amazing. A great trail up there. And then as you saw, it was just a fabulous trail once you get up there. Now we've had a fantastic adventure today. So remember, you get out and create your own adventure at, at your leisure. leisure. Of course, uh, you know, we all, sorry. That got off track. I went to the food. <laughs> so it's really pretty. <laughs> now let's take a look. A walk. You thought it was so easy when I was doing it. Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now, remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week. So you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here. And that way, they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com. And from there, you can find out which television stations we broadcast on. So you never have to spend a day without your fix of family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget, we have really cool contests.